gosh. So who can help me set up this Megan Fox story? So, well, so what maybe happened? me. There was a picture <laughs> of Megan. Qualified. Yeah, yeah. Is there a Megan Fox out there? Can Whenever I... Megan Fox is trending on Twitter, I'm always like, oh fuck, I'm gonna get the weirdest DMs. And this shit is so weird. Like, how would you like to be synonymous with a woman who drinks blood? Okay, but like, she's not even like. She used to be like, oh, Hollywood movie star. Oh, Transformers. That's fun. This shit is just weird. Robbie Starbuck, a couple, like maybe a week ago, put up a tweet where he was like, okay, look, I used to live in the same community as Megan Fox. My kids played with her kids and, and we witnessed a breakdown of one of her little boys saying he does not want to be forced to dress like a little girl. And they were with the nanny. They weren't with her. And he was really sad about it. He was just like, it's, it was really sad. It was very traumatizing. This kid just had a breakdown at the park. And his kids used to play with these kids all the time. Mm -hmm. This is how she dresses her three sons. Yikes. Like, like three, girls. there is no chance statistically, by the way, that you have three transgender boys. No chance. Okay. When they, they are like, what, 0.03% of the population. You are not going to have three of them in the same family. These Except are her you're drinking blood. This These is obviously her, her idea. Yeah. These are her. And she admits in interviews that she, at least for one of them, she knew that he was gender nonconforming in the womb. Like what Damn. the hell? Yeah, that's insane. That's, that's insane. insane. So Robbie is basically saying, okay, look, when this picture came out, this is when he, he tweeted out, he was like, um, I know these boys and we met these boys. My boys played with them. And one of them had a major breakdown saying his mother was forcing him to dress like this and he did not want to. And Robbie said he thought, well, maybe after that breakdown, it will stop. But obviously it hasn't stopped because here they are and they're dressed like girls. So he, he tweeted out his story about that. <laughs> Megan Fox actually responded to him with this crazy bullshit, like this is crazy, like threatening him with witchcraft. Crazy. So this is Megan Fox's response to Robbie Starbuck. I really don't want to give you this attention because clearly you're a cloud chaser. Yeah, anyone who is questioning authority is, a, I guess, a cloud chaser or a, someone famous. But let me teach you something. Irregardless of how desperate you may become at any given time to acquire wealth, That's power, not success, a word. or fame, yeah, yeah. I was just gonna say irregardless, that. irregardless, regardless, huh, success or fame, never use children as leverage or social currency, especially under malevolent and erroneous pretense. I feel like she's sitting there with a thesaurus, being like, "How many big words can I put in this uh, response?" Exploiting my child's gender identity to gain attention in your political campaign has put you on the wrong side of the universe. I have been burned at the stake by insecure, narcissistic, impotent little no, men. No, you haven't. You're still alive. Many times. And yet I'm still here. You fucked with the wrong witch. Like this is a woman who has admitted to drinking blood. She's clearly mm -hmm. doing some sort of NK ultra sacrificial social, um, you know, I think I think Hollywood is every once in a while like required to like either trans their kid or trans themselves. This is my own theory because there's just so many of it. And you look at the type of people who are who seem to have trans kids or be trans themselves. And it's like most normal people are not. This is not happening to normal people. I think it's I think it's a Hollywood pressure or they get bonus points or they're. Hollywood ESG score goes up if they trans all their kids. <laughs> <laughs> Is this so sick, though? For these poor little boys. Oh, my and then God. Robbie Starbuck responds to Megan. I love his response. response. With, I don't even have a political campaign, Megan. I lived in the same gated community as you in Calabasas. I'm not naming it because I don't know if you still live there or not. Oh, fuck. Uh... I don't know if you still live there or not. Our kids played together there. Ask your nanny. She was the one bringing them to the park, not you. I have photos of our kids playing because they played so regularly. Your boys were very sweet, as I said in that thread. And the outburst of emotion was sad for all of us, including our kid who witnessed it. 
an independent adult witnessed this and I have a text from them about it. You can DM and I'll show it to you privately. Again, this is all very respectful. I only said something now because I hadn't followed along after we moved and figured change would ensue after that incident. But I saw this photo online, realized that it continued and that brought all of it to the surface where it felt necessary to say something. Very sad to see it didn't stop. I'm not afraid of witchcraft. I'll pray no. for you and your boys. Yeah. How hilarious that he has to say that. I'll pray for you and your boys. It's you who needed to hear that this happened. Maybe you'll investigate those feelings uh, that burst out when you see the independent text photos that I will happily send to you. I firmly believe that what I witnessed should never happen to a child. I have Jesus, so I'll never fear witchcraft, but I'm happy to provide photos and texts for you to think about. As for clout chasing, I'm not the one doing a blood drinking ritual for attention. I'm speaking up and I'm guilty of anything. And if I'm guilty of anything, it's not doing so sooner. So again, this is a very respectful response from Robbie Starbuck. It's very clear that he cares about children. He's not using them to quote clout chase or get it. Robbie doesn't do like weird attention seeking no. behavior, like drinking blood, like, like, you know, publicly transing your kids, that sort of thing. So I thought his response, but was then perfect. her response to this is so wait, did she then respond shit. again? Yes. Chrissy look in. Oh, wait, where's the response? Hold the freaking I just down. think it's so interesting too. Cause she says um, something yeah. about not using children for leverage socially. Well, if that was true, why wouldn't you just ignore it? Hold yeah, on. I her. retweeted it. I retweeted it. It's hold on. I'm going to give you the, the thing. It's so, the thing. It's so insane. It's so freaking insane. You're not even going to believe what. So that nice, respectful thing, I'm putting it in the private chat now. Okay. Um, this is what she responded on Instagram with. So they've this, had several back and forths. What's his name? <laughs> oh my God. The, she responded with this. Yeah. Okay, the dad of these Sorry. children is Brian Austin Green. He needs to intervene with a court, with the court right now. <gasps> Ew. This is Megan Fox saying me outside Rob Starbucks Ooh. house and it's uh like like a skinwalker looking person like naked hovering over a, a dead thing. Stunned nurse. I caught witches holding a carcass eating ritual on my security camera. And this woman has bragged about drinking blood. She's probably on that Chrissy Teigen adrenochrome routine and she probably eats people. I wouldn't put it past her. Uh, it's time for where is brian austin green these are his three sons yeah. i want to know what the hell you know what he's doing right I now thought he defended it no i don't know if he came out or said anything about it but he he is now married or getting married to one of those dancing with the stars dancers and having a baby with her so he's like starting over again and it's oh, like wow. you know what dude you have three sons three Three little boys counting on you to rescue them from this shit. So you better get That's off your gross. ass and get down to the court and file some paperwork about custody because this is bullshit. Like, who? Maybe don't he's leave not because they're not his real sons. Oh. How so he responds um, with, now Megan Fox is threatening to hold a carcass eating ritual at my house. That would be a bold, dumb decision in Tennessee. If her goal was to look crazy, mission accomplished. Now people know she practices witchcraft, too. I mean, yeah, we already knew she drank blood, which is not what sane people do. Uh, and the fact that she's so public about it, to me, is like she's trying to impress somebody in Hollywood. Uh, you really struck a chord with her. She knows you're right. Yikes, be careful. My house is protected by Jesus, AR-15s, and actual security, so I'm good. Pray for her. This is demonic energy in her coming out. I agree 100%. Yeah. Yeah, Brian Austin Green slams claim that ex-Megan Fox forces sons to wear girls' clothes. Oh, really? That was what yesterday. Oh, well, what an asshole he is. Why doesn't he do something about this for his his children i don't know i feel like she has something on him because i remember when they before they were divorced when they were just split up and she's like fucking other guys and he's like oh yeah i'm supportive of her you know going out and living her life and i'll be here with our kids and i was like what the fuck dude man yeah, what is he gonna do? yeah she's like i think I, I don't know i feel like the only defense but this is like me using logic which none of these people in hollywood have so i'm like it's <laughs> 
like I, I probably shouldn't even say it, but I'm like the only thing that I could see like somebody saying is that there's so many pedophiles in Hollywood and they like little boys. So I'm trying to protect my boys by when we go to things like having them like girls to you know, get the pedophiles away from my children, but she's not doing that. Don't bring your kids around places where there are pedophiles. That too. But I'm looking at this article in Yahoo and Brian Austin Green said, Noah started wearing dresses when he was about two. Okay. I'll send it to you. He started wearing dresses when he was two. Yeah. Well, kids wear all sorts of crazy shit when they're two. You know what you don't do? You don't keep forcing them to wear it. As they get older, you just like you ignore that shit, okay? Like, well, here's, 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 my here's daughters. Let me just tell you something. My daughters. I have three children: two two daughters who are older, and then a little boy. When my little boy came around, he was surrounded by girl shit. Okay, it was nothing but girl shit in my house. It was princess dresses and sparkly shit, and like all the costumes in my house were all these princess dresses. So what happened? He was like two, three years old. He's running around in a princess dress, right? The girls are cackling, laughing at him, and I'm like, "Hey, shut, shut up!" I sit down with him. I'm like, "Hey, buddy, do you want a costume? Is that what this is about? Do you want to dress up?" Like you want a you want a cool costume, right? He's like, yeah. I'm like, all right. Well, I'm gonna make you one. I made him a king costume with like a fur cape and like mm-hmm. a, a whole oh. thing, a sword, and like I'm like, he never put on a princess dress again. Like I bought him a fireman costume and a and an astronaut one, and I bought him like all this. Dude, it's just, see, just you had people. daughters, so that's that's where he got the costume from. Was of from course. Your, Megan Fox doesn't have girls; she's only had boys. So just, where is he getting the dress from? That from means her. It, well, it's yeah, it's exactly. a two-year-old her. isn't going shopping. A two-year-old isn't buying their clothes, so she's buying dresses for the kids. It's not like oh, he put on his sister's dress or he put on his mom's dress. No, yeah, she's, no she's buying clothes. it. it could he be put on dresses school. at two. Yeah. Who the fuck bought those for their son? Like, yeah, uh, come on. But Chrissy, did you tell him about the family we saw in the gift shop? <laughs> no, no. Oh, no. This is so, so very relevant. So we're at um, the Borgata. We're leaving. We're waiting for the valet, and we see a little boy, maybe like what three? You th- th- three, two? probably. Yeah, he's very They're, little. Yeah. And there's the last little gift shop there where everything's crazy overpriced, and we're just going in there being like, and it was just, funny. You know. It was funny because we stood there and just watched this family like unabashedly, directly. We were like, What's going to happen here? It was so bizarre. <laughs> you know, where they just let the little kid like walk around the store and like see what he does, you know. And the boy goes up to a um, there's a bunch of little like plushy backpacks, like with luggage poles like a roller backpack rolly yeah, yeah rolly bag and the boy That's the goes real up crime. to a, pink, that makes a fluffy a pink cool. one he's like i want this i want mm-hmm. this i want the pink one and the mom's like oh he likes pink and i shouldn't have said anything but what i said was don't worry he'll grow out of it you know and then under my breath, don't <laughs> i did i went oh, over there. <laughs> <laughs> like they asked what i fucking thought i'm like don't trans your kid over this pink backpack yeah, but this is pretty based they were like they're like how about this brown one he's like no and <laughs> no i don't want that buying one. anything yeah. Well, I understand if maybe if they had a blue one, brown kind of is an icky color. Get him yeah. the pink yeah. one. It's not a big it's deal. It's not a big deal. Yeah. Here's what's a, here's I what agree, the Megan. problem is. Here's what the problem is. Making it a big fucking deal. Like yes. you yeah. want to what you want the pink backpack? You can have the pink backpack. I don't give a shit. Here's what we're not going to do though. We are not going to tell you that you are not a boy. Right. You That's can right. be a boy who likes pink and you yes. can be a boy who likes makeup. I don't give a shit. Yeah. This is, it, does no one remember David Bowie? Like the 80s were oh, so yeah. fucking Roger, cool, he okay? Cool. He was so glamorous right. and he was also masculine. Yes. Everybody in the 80s, all the men that we all like were simping after were gender like bender. feminized, right? They had like eye makeup right. and long hair and we Harry all loved Styles them. Styles wears a damn dress. Don Bon Jovi. Don Bon Jovi was oh. rocking his perm and his eye makeup, and we exactly. all thought that was the hottest thing ever. And it was super straight. Tight it was pants, super straight. Thrusting. Mm-hmm. It was super straight. Like, why are we telling little boys that they cannot be, they can't experiment or be creative or fun unless they're? Oh, you must be a girl. What the fuck? 
What, yeah, what is you're, this? Yeah, that's all. Uh, I can't do that. But yeah, I can't on. even with this. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm sick of it. Sick and then they're like, well, wait till we just go see your best friend. Don't you want to see your best friend? And I thought it was going to be like another <laughs> kid. I thought it was going to be like another kid, right? And it was just like the the the, the, the full grown the large the black woman at the, the ballet. ballet. The black woman at the ballet was his best friend. It was like and they were like, yeah. like they've been friends all their life. <gasps> ah! No, it's like wow, this guy's <laughs> the way it was back. Really sweet. Kids are the best. It was so cute. It I don't was. know. Maybe uh, I'm weird, but I and I don't have kids. What do I know? But I I think I just would not. I would not go out of my way to buy my son pink things. I guess it depends. Are my way no, really but I mean, like if they're it, insisting yeah. on it and they yeah. really want, you just don't make a big deal out of it. Don't make a big deal out of anything. Like when he was yeah. running around, my son was running around in the dress. I was like, oh, that's cute. That's funny. All right, here's the deal. Do you want some costumes of your own? And then he was like, yeah, I do. And I'm like, all right, I'm going to make you something cool. And I didn't say anything about the dress. I wasn't like, take it off. D don't wear it. Take it off, like, you pussy. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I, you don't do that. Don't do that because you don't want to make, you don't want to make a, you don't want to make him like remember something traumatic. Like don't be, but, but see if you can get to the, the, the heart of it, which is he just wanted a cool costume. The girls yeah. had costumes. He didn't have one. Well, make him one. Like that's, that's easy. God. I had the whole neighborhood mad at me because I had all of the boys in black nail polish for like a week. It just cool. ended, you know, they, Dane wanted nail polish. He wanted black nail polish. We put it on, it wore off. He never wore it again. Like it's just, you're just, it's just a kid, you know? I, to, yeah, it, yeah. I was doing my daughter's nails today and my they son, my son explore. walked in while we were doing it. And I was thinking to myself, you know, nail polish is really fun. And like, we've told him, no boys don't have nail polish. And I, I'm thinking, I get why like these little, just don't make it a big deal. Just don't make it a big deal. If they, if they want to try the nail polish, like who cares? Okay. But the point is you're still a boy, no matter what you put on your nails, no matter what you put on your face or on your butt, you're still a boy. Yeah. I Period. Think, you know, you know, nail pol polish on men is very, is very chic. And in these days, I think they probably see that a lot. Not um, on kids. Not on like, I don't no, know. No, not would... kids, but that's why they probably see it. I mean, if you send a kid a, to school in nail polish, a boy, they're going to get hell. Period. Right. Thank and that's, I think I, uh, you want to yeah. just protect your kid from unnecessary bullying. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes, if that's the case, but it maybe if all the kids are wearing, all the boys in their class are wearing nail polish, I wouldn't put it past True. a lot of Well, my kid goes like, to Catholic school. It's not allowed. Oh, yeah. They'd be like, no, it's my team. You want to make him a target for the priest. Seriously, though, the women in my neighborhood were really worried about it. It was like they were scared, like, oh, my gosh. And it just disappeared, like, literally as fast as it showed up. My brother's gay. I used to paint his toenails while he was sleeping. <laughs> um, as a prank, but he loved it. So you made him <laughs> prank, you know, and, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, he was just playing with like he would play with my. I didn't like dolls. I wanted like notebooks and like office supplies as toys. I've always just been. You wanted uh, office supplies as toys. I love with my stroller. Supplies. I would push around like pens, paper, staplers. Um, I don't know. It was very odd. And my brother would play That's with really all cute. my dolls and Barbies and stuff. Uh, because he's uh, he's gay. <laughs> he no by no means wants to to be a girl, but he's gay. Yeah, mm -hmm. so that was fine. Well, that's the thing. They're erasing, thing. like yeah, racing, racing yeah. gay people and forcing them to be trans. It's like, oh, right. my son has like gay tendencies. He must be a girl. And it's like, no, maybe he's just gonna be gay. You know, yeah, there is such a thing the world, as feminine men. A little bit less than it's not like. Well, did you, you don't have to. You can call yourself who... whatever you fucking want to, though. It's did fine. You see the one but... girl that transitioned, and then she was having like she posted a video of her crying because she's going bald now because yeah. now she's a bald the guy. testosterone. Yeah, from the yeah. testosterone, it made her like get the male pattern baldness That's and yeah. causes it. She yeah, was crying, and she's like, I, I regret this. And other trans people were making fun of her. Yep. And she was on Blair White and she's like, no, like I'm a lesbian, but my parents are super religious and it's easier for them to have a, a trans kid than a gay kid. Wow. See, I don't feel that way. And I'm religious. I'm super religious, but I, I would not, I actually would be far more okay with a gay kid than trans because trans is so damaging to the body. I'm all about keeping my kids healthy, you know, healthy and, and happy. And, and I'm not about, and like my, 
the way my kids have been raised, it's like, we don't have dyes in the house and we don't, you know, we, we were careful about what we eat and what we put on our bodies and even the sunscreen I buy. So I'm going to be like, no, 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 no. You want elective surgery? No, 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 no. That's, we're not, we don't do that. We don't, we only go to the doctor when we're sick. We don't go for no reason. So for me, my thing. I'm like, my parents wouldn't even buy me a razor scooter for $20. How come <laughs> oh. these parents are buying these kids? I know. <laughs> Get a job. Save up. Buy your own hormones. Love you guys. Thank you for the chats. Thank you for the comments. I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Bye. All right. Love you guys. Oh, I don't even want to leave. This candle smells so good. I don't want to leave. All right. Love you guys. Talk to you soon. Bye. Love you all. Join the Discord. Feet. Love you all. Wow. You guys are awesome. Bye guys. Bye. Now I'm really leaving. Love you. Bye.